family and friends. This is Beverly Black. And how is everyone doing today? I pray that everyone is doing fine and blessed, most of all. Today, we are going to make um, a quick and easy uh, recipe for those families who have a busy schedule, a lot to do, and you need to throw something together quick and fast. This chicken pot pie is the recipe. Now, I'm not making my crust. I am using canned soup. I am using all the convenience that someone can make it fast. So don't come at me in the, in the comments about why you using the canned soup? Why didn't you make your own um, pie shell? No, I'm not doing it. I'm here to help those who need something, who need to learn how to make something quick and fast. Everybody in the world cannot make pie shells, make their own soup and do things like some of us can. So they need help along the way, but yet we want it to taste good. So this is a very good chicken pot pie and very easy to make. And I think I will be doing easy recipes about once a week, recipes that can help people who have, who have a busy life and don't have time to make things straight from scratch. So stay tuned so you can learn how to make this very easy chicken pot pie. This recipe is oh so simple and so easy to make. You will need one deep dish pie shell. Now most of the deep dish pie shell come two in a pack. The other pie shell if you want to you can put it on top of this you would also need one can of cream of chicken soup. You can cut up your chicken parts however you wanted to use it. I got these um, grilled chicken breast dices is what I am using today. Any kind of chicken parts cut up, that's what you use. Mixed vegetables, I am using frozen. Some people use canned. The can has a lot of salt in it. So I am using um, frozen. A can of crescent rolls that I will put on the top. And remember I told you that the pie shell come two in a pack. And you can put the other pie shell on top if you choose to. And a little bit of chicken broth. So let's begin. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to put, um, well, first I'm going to put the cream of chicken soup in here. I've already wiped off the top of this lid. Make sure when you are using um, canned goods that you clean those lids. Okay, let's get this in here. Getting all of this soup out, and then we will open up. I have two packs of mixed mixed um, vegetables here because I want to. Uh, See how many, you know, really is in there. If I want to put more. So I'm opening this up. Now we're going to stir it up a little bit. Get it to mix. I'm going to put my chicken in here now. Oh, this chicken smells good. And I'm probably about a half a cup of chicken broth. Lord, the whole lid came off. <laughs> okay. And let's just mix this up together. Some people put um, soup in, or not soup, milk in theirs to thicken it up, um, 
well, not just picking it up, but to uh, help, to give it some wetness, so we'll say that. Get it all mixed up together, and then we'll put it in this pie shell. Okay. Here is my pie shell. So one pack of the mixed vegetables were enough. Pour this all into this pie shell. This makes a lot. I am so sorry. I did not tell you to season it. You can put salt and pepper in it because you need some season or any season of your choice. Put it in there. Now we're going to put the crescent rolls on top. You will let it bake about 20 minutes. With, I'm going to put foil on top of it. And then you will take the foil off and let it bake another 20 minutes so that the crescent rolls can get um, brown. Now you can also use the other uh, pie shell. Remember that. But I just want the crescent roll taste. You can also um, sprinkle or melt some butter and put it on top. I have melted some butter and I'm going to put it on the top of it. Okay, I have my foil. Always when you're cooking, put the shiny side of the foil down because it holds the heat in. So we're going to put the foil over it. Put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Then I will take it out after 20 minutes and take the foil off. And let it cook another 20 minutes. The chicken pot pie is out of the oven and it is smelling so good. It just got out and it baked for about one hour. It took it one hour. And you can see the vegetables seeping through there. It is looking good. It is still hot. But this is a um, easy one to fix when you have to fix uh, dinner right quick. It is still hot, but I'm gonna try to cut a little piece so you can see on the inside. Oh, it is juicy. I'm gonna get this out with a spoon. Just look up there. There it is, creamy. Oh yes. All 
homemade chicken pot pie. So easy to make. Thank everyone who came by today, who has watched this video, who's been here. I so appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do it now. I thank you for all that you've done. And I thank you for watching my videos. Remember everyone that I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. And our God does not make any junk. Go ahead and make your chicken pot pie.